Hi, everybody. It's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Okay, Libra. It's time for your January read. I am getting these done tonight, okay? Because tomorrow, tomorrow being a Tarot Tuesday, I would really like to kick off the February reading, so it would be helpful if I had the January readings done first. Anyway, if you're a Libra Sun and this resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate with your sun sign, that's okay, too. Check your moon, rising, your Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Or if you're a Libra, moon, rising, your Venus, and this resonates with you. Right on. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can, and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And if you're a cross-watcher checking into the room, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. While you're at it, if you feel so inclined, if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you feel so inclined, I mean, I'm not going to twist your arm. It's your journey. I'm just throwing down cards. Oh, oh, one last little tidbit of information before I throw these down. Um, if it is definitely not your message, not your story, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take with you. It does not belong to you because that's how fights get started. And I've seen it happen, like, already this week, and it's only Monday, so let's not, okay? All right. Why are you here? Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take in a relationship. Possibly you're in a connection where you give a little, you get a little, you give a lot, you get a lot. All things are equal. All things are balanced. That's beautiful and hard to come by these days. So we'll throw a clarifier on it. In a couple of minutes, if the cards feel so inclined. If not, we'll just leave it as it is. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Five of cups in the reverse. Possibly you feel like they're coming out of like a state of sadness, maybe. Trying to fill their cups back up. Stand them back up on the ground. Maybe they've been through it. What do you think of them? Seven of cups in the reverse. Maybe you think they're a little bit confused. Or maybe they confuse you. Okay. All right. Well, what do you want from them? The hermit. Could be a Virgo you're dealing with. I got a little bit of earth on the board. Got a little bit of water. The hermit. Hermit's a card of healing. It's a card of taking that spiritual journey, of finding the inner light, the light of peace, if you will. Maybe you want them to finish the healing process that they're going through right now. How do they feel about you? Three of Cups reversed. Oof. Disconnected, possibly? I'm catching disconnected. I'll throw a clarifier on it in a second. What do they think of you? Eight of Cups. Walking away. Hmm. Definitely going to have to clarify that. Libra, why do you confuse me? Why do the people you deal with confuse me? It's a very confusing energy right now. What do they want from you? Page of Cups reversed. Obstacle. Six of Wands. I think I know where this is going. That's a card of return. And it's got wands on it. Wands indicate or can indicate something of a certain nature that I, I try not to discuss here on the channel. Sugar and spice and all things nice. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, it, it's, it's pillow talk stuff. You know what I'm saying? Pillow talk. Okay. Possibly.
possible resolution of the chariot. Card of Cancer, forward movement. Distance, distance. I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this to the end. That is the that is the outcome. Let's get some clarity. I think I know where this is going, but I don't want to call it yet. Three of Pentacles came out. We'll see if it comes back out. Don't want to call it yet. One more. Thank you. Apparently somebody wanted to talk. Apparently the cards made a decision. All things being fair and equal. There's unfinished business and the possibility of someone walking away. It's weird how they landed. I don't know if it's you or them. But someone may be walking toward something that was left behind, left unfinished. Oof. Okay. Why is the Five of Cups reversed here? One card for the Five of Cups reversed, please. One card. And thank you. Four Pentacles. Coming out of that state of sadness, but still holding on to something, someone. Holding it close, not wanting to let it go. Maybe you don't want to let them go. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed to her for what the other person thinks of Libra? Changes in the air. Choppy waters. Oof. Do you think things are changing, Libra? Does something have you or them confused? One more. Six of Swords. More choppy waters. These are not glass lakes, folks. These are not bodies of water that you could see your reflection in very easily. That's, that's choppy water. There's... Seven of Cups reverse can also speak of temptation. Possibly you think that they are tempted or being tempted by something. Or all things being fair and equal. Hmm. Why is the hermit here? Do you want to talk or not? We'll see if you come back out. King of Cups. King of Cups reversed. One more.
Page of Wands. By the light, see the light heal. You want them to heal. Why the King of Cups reversed? Nine of Cups and the Lovers. Do what makes you happy. Oh wow, that is profound, Libra. That that's almost stoic. Do what makes you happy. The lovers can indicate a choice between two. It can also indicate love that is not necessarily equal. It can also indicate divine partnership or partnership brought together by the divine laying next to a nine of cups on top of a king of cups reversed on top of a hermit I'm saying you need to heal and do what makes you happy that's what they want you to do or that I'm sorry that's what you want them to do do what makes you happy why the page of wands Wow. Wow, Libra. Wow. You're just like, if I don't fill your cup, find the one that fills your cups. I don't want to let you go, but if I don't fill your cups, I don't fill your cups. Wow. Wow. Oof. Holy Moses. Okay. Okay. Why is the three of cups reversed here for how the other person feels about Libra? Six of cups and the hermit. You could be old friends. You could go back a long way. One more. You want to talk? You want to you come play? Moon reversed. They're just like, you know what? We go along, we go back a long way. I think you're a wonderful guy. I think this could really go somewhere. This has potential to be something great and something wonderful and something abundant and something blessed. And, but I just don't know with this moon card reversed. Gotta be honest, I just don't know. The light bearer, the moon. The light bearer and the moon card is a tendency to shed light on things in the reverse. The 
that's the make people think twice card. Why is the eight of cups here for what the other person thinks of Libra? Why is the eight of cups here? Okay, swords reversed. Star reversed. High Priestess. Their intuition speaks to them. Wow. There's thoughts of departure that they've tried to put out of their head because they don't want to train wreck your world. And they definitely feel the connection with you. It's deep and it's profound. Definite soulmate stuff. Not necessarily like life partner soulmate stuff, but soulmate stuff nonetheless. High priestess. High priest. That's, that's like... Wow. You know, sometimes soulmates come into our lives and they're not meant to stay. You realize that, right? You realize that. They're not meant to stay. Or there's a deeper purpose. You know, some of the best friends I have are guys I used to date. <laughs> For real. Just didn't work out. Just didn't work out. But we're still friends. Comes in handy when I need a shoulder to cry on. Yeah. Comes in handy. Why? Why is this Page of Cups reversed for what the other person wants from Libra for Libra of Libra? Why the Page of Cups reversed? Four Swords reversed. Seven of Swords. The Hermit. Did you both leave something behind? Do you both have unfinished business that you need to go after? Because that's the sense I'm getting right now, that you both have unfinished business. Why is the Six of Wands here? Page of Swords reversed. <laughs> Tower reversed. One more. Seven of Wands. The 
victory after the battle. Towers to rebuild. Words you're not speaking. Battling your inner demons. One more. Nine of Swords, you both have things. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of inner demons, towers to rebuild. Truths to seek, people to return to, unfinished business. Oh my gosh, all things being equal. You're both in the same boat. Why is the chariot here for the possible resolution? I'm almost afraid to ask. Oh, hi, King of Swords. Logical, non emotional decision making. Queen of Cups. That's an odd couple. Death reversed. Why death reversed? Why am I unloading this deck? Four of Wands reversed. Let it fall apart. Libra, let me ask you something. Let me let me pose a question. If, if this is your story, say this is your story. I don't know who this whose story this would be, but say this is your story. Why would you stay in a connection when you know you both have unfinished business that needs to be settled for this connection to work out if it's meant to, which I don't know if it was meant to or not, with that Queen of Cups and that King of Swords. When the things which run your chariot are going in opposite directions or trying to pull in opposite directions. This says to me that it may be time to do something that you've both avoiding, been avoiding doing for whatever reason. Because you both want each other to find the light, to heal. Hmm. Death reversed, four of wands reversed. You can't resurrect something that you don't let die. You can't rebuild a tower that you don't let fall. Outcome is the Emperor regaining control. Why the Emperor? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Hi. 
Ace of Swords. Let the bird out of the cage. That's very strange, Libra. You both just want each other's cups to be full and you can't seem to fill each other's cups. Because you're both kind of stuck somewhere else. Yeah. Okay, let's get your advice. Don't know who this is going to resonate with, but let me know. Four of Pentacles reversed, Six of Swords reversed. Something can't return to you until you let it go. Grandma words of wisdom. Some of you have probably heard the story. I'm not going to extend it out very far. Long story short, moral of the story, you cannot have something come back until you release it. If it is meant to. If it is not meant to come back, it won't. But you have to release it and let it go. You have to love it enough to let it go. Knight of Cups, Ace of Swords reversed. Ten of Swords for the Empress. Yeah. Until a painful cycle comes to an end, you can't expect anything to grow or anything to be abundant. Because it's kind of hard to let good things in and if you're... You can't let good energy in until bad energy leaves. And ten swords is a whole lot of bad energy. It's negativity. It's sadness. You have to let cycles end before new cycles can begin. You can't just throw a band-aid on this, Libra. You have to let this go. You may have to go back and finish your business or let the person you're dealing with go back and finish theirs or maybe a little bit of both. Who knows? Let me know if this resonated. Happy January. <sighs> the energy's come. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just reading cards. I'm doing my best, guys. And I get some of the most off-the-wall soap opera stories thrown at me. And it's, it's just my job to sort it out. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Be blessed. February cycle starts tomorrow. And I will catch you on Friday for the weekend top and bottom of the deck. See you later.